Who would have known that Crackdown 3 would incite such a response from a variety of gamers by just putting out a new gameplay trailer? What is going on guys? Randall Thor19, the man with the million, back again with another video. That's right, we're going to be talking about some Crackdown 3 because it was the talk of the internet yesterday and today. My lord, I've never seen so many people talk about Crackdown in my life. Now, let me set it up. So the Rad Brad, huge YouTuber, huge YouTuber. I think he's got like close to 5 million subs. He put up a B-roll trailer of like 10 minutes of footage uh, that Microsoft gave him from E3. And he commentated over it, right? He seemed uh, very, very positive. He liked what he saw. He kept on calling the game sick. I watched it too because I saw everybody talking about the game and how terrible it looked and how it you know it doesn't look worthy of a purchase and how could they this be the flagship title to launch with the X when the X is all about power and Crackdown 3 doesn't look good. So we're going to talk about all that stuff because my lord, people losing their damn minds over video games, which I guess isn't really anything to be surprised about, right? So the Red Brad posted the video that Microsoft sent him. I guess you could say, well, what is Microsoft really doing? Are they, or like, what is the point of doing that? I know Red Brad's got 5 million subs. Uh, maybe this is part of Microsoft's marketing. So you kind of got to question that anyways. But in my honest opinion, when I watched the video, I was like, okay, this is, this is Crackdown. It looks cool. Can't wait to play this with my buddies in four-player co-op. Can't wait to try out the multiplayer destruction, which is the thing that, you know, I have looked forward to a lot. And I think a lot of the negativity surrounding the game is based on how the way the game looks and the kind of cloak and dagger misinformation about the game that is largely responsible towards Microsoft's handling of the game because Microsoft themselves has been touting this, you know, sandbox destruction and stuff only to really find out, well, that's only really available in the 10 player multiplayer mode there is no real destruction in the single player stuff and they're not showing the co-op stuff it's just strictly the single player stuff so a lot of people are looking at it and be like well wait where's the destruction isn't that what what what's the reason the game's been taking so long to to get going and it's like wait a minute the game sell shit it doesn't really look great and to be honest with you like the game in the videos doesn't look like a looker it doesn't look like something you would expect uh, a, a, an exclusive to look, but it re looks like Crackdown, and that's exactly kind of the aesthetic that is chasing after. And a lot of people are just like, hey, well, Xbox One X is coming out, and this is supposed to be a showcase title. Why didn't this game look better? I think a lot of the hate that this video is getting is based upon the looks of it. Now, when I mention hate, right? Just this 10 minute video from Rad Brad has generated a lot of talk. I see it all, I saw it all day on my Twitter timeline. People calling it looks like ass. People saying it looks like a 360 game. If you honestly think it looks like a 360 game, then you know what? I invite you to uh, go check out some uh, footage of Crackdown 1 on the 360. And then look at the uh, Crackdown 3 on the Xbox One and then try to make that comparison. I know it's easy to say, oh, it looks like a last-gen game because that's just an easy comparison to make. So it, you're basically putting the game down by saying it looks like a 360 game. I went and I re-looked at some original Crackdown footage and come on, dude. Come on, really? Crackdown 3 looks like a 360 game? Get out of here with that. But I mean, look at some of these articles that spawned off of a 10 minute video from Rad Brad. It might be time to start worrying about Crackdown 3 from Aussie Gamer. And of course, the one from Forbes, because Forbes has to get into it on all these types of things. I'm starting to seriously worry about Crackdown 3, Xbox One X's launch title. Of course, let's not forget that the game is going to be on PC and also regular Xbox One, even though it is a launch title for the X, it's not developed exclusively for the X. And that's kind of one of the problems that I always had with the Pro and the X is that the game's still going to have to work and run on the older pieces of hardware. And of course, there's also a long ass thread on NeoGAF about this stuff. 
which has 617 replies, 45,000 views. All day on Twitter, I see people just commenting commentating about it. A slow news day, because if you're talking about Crackdown 3 like this, then oh my lord. Now, look, I was disappointed in Microsoft's original showing of this game at E3. And I've honestly been some disappointed about how they've handled it since then. I don't think they're treating it with the uh, care that they should be, you know, like they would with Forza or Halo. Um, I'm not sure if that's because they don't have faith in the game or if it's just too far away to start pimping out the footage and things like that. I know we're supposed to be getting some new stuff at Games to- Gamescom, and who knows, maybe the destruction and multiplayer will turn some people's opinions around. But I want to flip this back around to my original point about why I think people are disappointed in Crackdown 3. Because it looks and plays just like Crackdown, and I mean plays. Like that gameplay loop that's shown there, the jumping up in the air, the collecting of the orbs, the using the guns to just murder people, that is Crackdown to its core. But I think people have a problem with the cell-shaded graphics. And my buddy Jez brought this up on the Xbox 2 podcast, and I agree with him here. If Crackdown 3 looked like Infamous, then I don't think anybody would complain about the game. Because I think a lot of people associate cell-shaded graphics with, like, child, like, children's game. Not necessarily a children's game, but, but a childish look. Like, they're not true graphics. You know what I mean? Like, Infamous, Crackdown, Saints Row... Uh, even the Agents of Mayhem are all the similar type of game. They're all that open world, destruction, superhero ability type stuff. And you never hear people really complain about Infamous. You never really hear people complain about hates how Saints Row looks, right? But for whatever reason, Crackdown 3 and its cel-shaded graphics... People don't like that for whatever reason. Maybe they feel that that cel-shaded look should stay on the 360 and that Crackdown should have a more mature look where it should look more like Infamous or Prototype, you know, more of a realistic look. And I think if that was the case, if Crackdown did look like Infamous, I don't think anybody would complain. I think it's entirely because it's cel-shaded that people are looking at that game with squinted eyes and saying, eh, It doesn't look better than a 360 game. It doesn't look better than a game from literally 10 years ago. It's like, brah. Brah. Really? It doesn't look better than the the original Crackdown from 10 years ago? If you really honestly think that. And look, the game may be terrible. None of, no, no, anybody talking about this game on social media or in these forums or on these stuff more than likely hasn't played it. Because everybody that I've talked to that was at E3, that was at FanFest, that actually got to play hands-on, Crackdown 3 came away with some pretty damn good impressions. They said it feels great to play, and that it plays like Crackdown. Of course, they all kind of said, I wish it looked better, but of course I thought gameplay is king around these parts. You know what I'm saying? But I guess I guess looks matter more than gameplay when it comes to some of these things. But yeah, all my friends... Love the way the game plays. I thought when I was wa- when I was watching the Rad Brad video, I was like, yeah, can't wait to play Crackdown 3 when it comes out this year. This looks like a lot of fun, and it's going to be even hell of a lot more fun when you play it with, with four buddies and four-player co-op. I can't wait to dig into that. But I think people are just upset with how the game looks. I think they want that realistic graphics from like Infamous Second Son and things like that. And of course... It also kind of looks like Agents of Mayhem or Saints Row. And I think people are a little bit tired of those games. And that kind of transfers over to Crackdown in a certain sense. Plus, it's a Microsoft exclusive. So there's always going to be that kind of uh, speculation or undue warranted kind of like... I'm not going to say hate against the title... But people are just kind of look at it through like a like a different scope than they would other type of games. They 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 give they'll they're more inclined to give Nintendo games the benefit of the doubt. They're more inclined to give Sony games the benefit of the doubt. But nobody out there is willing to give Microsoft games the benefit of the doubt. And that is a pretty true statement, at least in in everything I've seen. So yes, I'm still looking forward to Crackdown Three. I thought the gameplay looked great. 
And that's all I really care about from Crackdown is I want it to be Crackdown. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Were you impressed or not impressed by the Crackdown 3 uh, B-roll footage that was shown? Do you think I'm right in the fact that a lot of the hate is because it just doesn't look like a mature game like Infamous? Like it doesn't have that art style and graphics? Or am I just completely wrong on my thinking? Anyways, let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Hey, if you disliked it, a lot of people are going to dislike it because they always do. Hit that thumbs down. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already or if you're new to the channel. And I will see everybody in the next video. Later.